Top of the first here at Voorhees High School and watch Allie Tafaro of Lenape Valley deliver the two-run ground ball single to center to chase home Rachel Brenninger and Katie Milo and the number four Pats have a two-nothing lead over the number three Vikings here in the Hunter Warren Sussex semifinals. Then with two outs, it's Madison Ronco helping her own cause with the opposite field single to right as Tafaro scores and Lenape Valley has a three-nothing lead right off the bat. We go to the top of the second and Alex Dellarina gets the Pats going here with the bunt single and they have a runner on base. Lenape Valley then puts runners on the corners here. Watch Katie Milo with a single to short center, and the Pats are set up again. And the Pats go up 4-0 here on this RBI sack fly to right by Nicole Catalina, which allows Alex Dellarina to score, and the Pats have that early lead. The Pats keep the inning going here. Watch Megan Bopani with the infield single as she legs it out, allowing Katie Milo to score, and it's 5-0 Lenape Valley. Lenby Valley did it on defense. Watch center fielder Allie Tafaro make it look easy as she tracks down the fly ball to deep center for a 1-2-3 inning here in the bottom of the second. All right, top of the third, and after Madison Ronco walked, watch Daniel Keller put a charge into this pitch as she hits the fence in dead center field, allowing courtesy runner Sierra Lyons to score, and it's 6-0 Lenby Valley with one out and a runner on second. Then it's Rachel Brenninger dropping in the single to right field and Lenby Valley has the bases loaded with just one out. And that changes here. Watch Katie Milo clear the bases on this laser the other way to the corner and left as Daniel Keller, Alex Dellarina, and Rachel Brenninger score. And Lenby Valley has a 9-0 lead over the Vikings. Wow. The Pats weren't through yet. Nicole Catalina gets her second RBI of the game here with this line drive single to center, allowing Katie Milo to score her third run of the game. And it's all Lenby Valley 10-0. Bottom of third and watch Rachel Brenninger of Lenape Valley with a nice play as she shows off the good arm for the first out of a scoreless inning. All right, we move to the top of the fourth and the hard swinging Pats make it 11 0 here as Alex Dillarena's liner goes off the third baseman into left field for an RBI single as courtesy runner Jill Amato scores. All right, bottom of the fourth and Voorhees breaks through here on this hard chopper that goes over the third baseman's head into left field from Hannah Shivo and it's 11-1 Lenape Valley. And Lenape Valley ends the game here on the 10-run rule in the bottom on the fifth on this Madison Ronco strikeout as Lenape Valley tops Voorhees 11-1 to advance to the Hunter Warren Sussex Final for the first time ever where we'll play Hunter and Central Saturday night at Diamond Nation. I'm definitely really excited. You know, it's a big deal. We've never even made it past the second round or the first round, so it's really a big deal that we come this far. It's really an honor to be in the finals of uh, not only one county, but three. We're just really excited to play at Diamond Nation. We came together as a team today and just shut them out. It was a good feeling. It was really exciting. We all came out with really strong intensity. We knew that they're a really good team, especially after facing um, 100 and Central last week. They were scouting us, so we saw that, but it was a really good game. It feels great. I mean, um, historically, it's only been five years, six years here with HWS, but we've been knocked out in the second round, so it feels great to, to represent Sussex County in the finals. Lenby Valley set the tone early in this one, putting up a three spot in the top of the first. Big hit, Ali DeFaro, a two-run single. It was good. It was really big. Um, our goal was to jump at it, like, right from the start was to get ahead and stay ahead, pretty much. You know, we always say we hit first, we score first. So it was really big for us, and it was good. As we said, Lenby had a 3 nothing lead. Madison Ronco also had an RBI single in that inning, and she went out to the circle with an already built-in lead, which she said helped. It gives me even more confidence and even more room to work even more of my pitches and make them field the ball. My goal is to make them ground out or pop the ball up, and they do their job. Lenby Valley really busted this game open in the third inning with a five-run outburst. The big hit, a bases-clearing, bases-loaded double from Katie Maiello. I really was just uh, focused. I had had two strikes. I went to two-strike hitting, you know. Um, it's Mother's Day this weekend. I was like, I got to do this for Mom. So you know what? I took it off as a field, and it really worked out. This Lenby team, top to bottom, one through nine, not an easy out there. Last two county games, 23 runs. That's what's great about it. One through nine, like you said, um, we scored nine against DePaul. We scored 14 against Cedar Grove in that tournament. And uh, yes, last week as well, we scored 12 against mm -hmm. North Hunter. And so, yeah, the bats one through nine. It's not an easy out. Lenby Valley just happy to be in the county final for the first time ever. We're excited. We're coming out. We want to win. We want to get on top. We've been working hard, and I think we're ready for it. 